Taking logarithm of numbers. I'm going to take logarithm of numbers greater than one and b logarithm of numbers less than one. Logarithm of numbers greater than one starts from one up to infinity. And logarithm of numbers less than one are mostly decimal fraction. Seven points, any following number as follows. So logarithm itself is writing numbers to the power of 10. Writing the number in the index of 10. Index of 10 to so the power of 10. Logarithm of number is in two parts. The integer, that's the power of 10. And then the decimal fraction, which is checked from the four figure to the code and the character. So that's the first part now, which are integers are gotten from a primary school level where we're taught place value, that's placement of value. We're taught how to place our values correctly. And we have unit 10, 100, 1000, 10 of 1000, 100 of 1000, million. And unit is 10 is power 0, 10 is 10 is power 1. 100 is 10 raised to the power 2, 1000 is 10 raised to the power 3, 10 of 1000 is 10 raised to the power 4, 100 of 1000 is 10 raised to the power 5 million, and in, it's 10 raised to the power 6. In a layman's language, you can say it, unit is having no zero, so that's 10 raised to the power 0, 10 is having one zero, 10 raised to the power 1, 100 is having two zero, 10 raised to the power 2, 1000 is having three zero, 10 raised to the power 3, 10,000 is having four zero, 10 raised to the power 4. 100,000 is having 5, 0, 10 to the power 5, million is having 6, 0, 10 to the power 6. And the second part of the logarithm is the decimal fraction, which we normally see from our public table. And these are written in decimal numbers. So the first example we are taking is find the logarithm of A, 325, B, 82.76, C, 0.4533. So, a and B are numbers greater than one. Y, C is number less than one. So A, logarithm of 325. Like I said earlier, 300, 100 is 10 raised power two. So the integer is two. That's why we have it as 10 raised power two. Then taking from the decimal fraction, from our fourth table, there's a two under five, will give us five, one, one, nine. So bringing the two together, logarithm of Two three hundred and twenty five will now be what ten raised to the power two point five one one nine. B logarithm of eighty two point seven six eighty eighty two eighty is under ten so ten power of ten is what ten raised to the power one that's the index form ten raised to the power one when you place it correctly so then checking from the first equation for the decimal fraction the character you have is eighty two under seven different six. Point nine one seven nine. So bringing the two together, logarithm of eighty two point seven six will now be ten raised to power one point nine one seven nine. C logarithm of zero point four five three three. So zero, I say that's a number less than one. So it's all it's going to fall after the decimal. Point and that's the first one is tenth, and the most important number here is four, so that's four tenths, and that's ten is for minus one. So we actually have that we call it bar one. That's why we have this as ten is per per one or minus one point. Checking from the from your for the decimal fraction from the table, forty five under three different three will be point six five six four. So bring it together. Log it on zero point four five three. It will give us 10 is power minus 1.6564. Now, I want to just prove the multiplication and the division. So, find the logarithm of A 325 times 82.76, B 3250 divided by 82.76. Now, I want to do that. Logarithm of 325 times 82.76. We have already gotten the value for the logarithm of 325, which is 10 raised to power 2.5119. We also have the value for the logarithm of 82.76, which is 10 raised to power 1.9179. So multiplying them, 
following the law of indices, the first law of indices says when the numbers are equal, the powers will be added. So we have to add the index, which is the power. So that's why we have 10 raised to power 2.5119 plus one point power 1.9179. So adding that to give us 10 raised to power 4.4298. X. Also, we want to do the division aspect. That's obeying the first law of indices. So we do the division aspect, which is logarithm of 3,250 divided by 82.76. So 3,000, that's why the integer has changed to 3, just to use the similar value that we have already determined. And the logarithm now of 3,250 will now be what? 10 raised by 3.5119, then divided by the logarithm of 82.76, 10 raised by 1.9179. So the division, law of indices, law two, since we are going to subtract the index, subtracting the power. So that will be 10 raised by 3.5119 minus power 1.9179. So during our subtraction, we are going to have 10 raised by 1.5. 940. 10 is power 1.9. So obeying the laws of indices. So when logarithm is being multiplied, you add the power. When it's division, you do subtract the power. When it is a power, and we will still get there. So note, anti-logarithm is the opposite of logarithm. This is changing back to number. So we place it back and then change. So from the value, the two values we have we just so we are going to find the anti-logarithm of 10 raised to the power 4.42898. So we check anti-logarithm 42 under 9 difference 8 will give us 2.690. So power 10 means is going to change it to what? We're going to change it to 10 of 1,000. And that's why we have this one when you multiply to give us 26,900. Then the other one, 10 raised to the power 1.5940. When we check our formula table for 59 under 4 different zero, we have 3.926. So power one, that's 10. When you use that to multiply, it's going to give us 39.26. Now, solving logarithm question greater than is multiplication and division. So since you have established the fact that when you multiply, you add, when you divide, you subtract. So we can now have a tabular way of solving it. And that's why this table is created. And that table is called number logarithm column table. Number logarithm column table. The number to your left and the logarithm to the right and from of the tables. Can you see number logarithm column table? So the first question we are going to consider now is, 29.3 times 142. So 29.3, 142, 29 under 10. So the integer is one. Check it from our fourth foot. We got the boot 29 under 3.4669. Then 114. 200 is 10 is part two integer two now. Then check it for 14 under two. We have 1523. So since we have established that multiplication is addition, we then add because these are also index. They are in the index form raised to our 10. So we now add this will give us 12. We carry one, nine. Then you carry, you have five and six, 11. Then you carry one, add it down with six and two. So checking now for anti logarithm 61 under nine difference two. When you check, we are going to have four, four, one, six, one. So since this. 10 raised to the power 3, that's 1,000. That's why we have that 4,161. The second question for division, 31.6 divided by 4.79. We've established the fact that when it's a division, we are going to do the subtraction. So we're checking from our first table using our number logarithm column table. We have 31.6, then 4.79. So 31, 31 integer, 10 raised to the power 1. And checking of from the first got with decimal fraction, we have 31 under six, which is four nine nine seven. Therefore, zero integer unit. So when we now check for 47 under nine, we have six eight zero three. So we have established that division is subtraction. We do our subtraction and we're going to have 0 
We check it from the anti logarithm, it's one under nine different four. We give us six, five, nine, eight. So integer 10 raised to the power one, that's the unit. That's why you have that six point units, 6.598. Now, when we talk about power, as I was mentioning earlier, for power, we are going to multiply. For root, we are going to divide. So question number three says 9.2 raised to the power four, which will now give us number logarithm column table. So you check nine, that's two units to zero. Then you have to check 92 under zero. Yes, 92 under zero, no difference. So 92 under zero will give us 9643. Raised to the power four, we multiply by four. So you do our multiplication four here, four times three, 12, carry one. Four times four, 16 plus one, you are carrying 17. Four times uh, six, 24 plus one, you are carrying 25. Four times nine, 38. 6.2 are carrying 38. Four times zero, we have zero plus three, we are carrying three. So check for anti logarithm. 85 under seven difference two will give us 7197. So integer 10 raised to power three, that's thousand. That's our average 7197. For the root, fifth root of 93.6. Fifth root. So what you do is first solve this before you divide by five. So that's 93.6, 90, 90 is under 10. That's why integer one. Checking from nine for 96 under six in our fourth got to be you have nine seven one three. Then the root says division. The root is division. So you divide by five. Five will divide, you have it 15 remainder four. 49, 9 remainder, remainder 2, 20, 4, remainder 1, in 13, 2, remainder 3. Since you have a decimal number, you can answer 36. So, since you can only check for the four number beneath four figure, you have to run up the six number, which is six. So, it's rounded up to one. That's why you have that 0 0.3943. So, from our first table, anti logarithm, 39 under four different three will give us two. Four seven nine for well, integer 10 is power one that's unit so you are 2.479. Number five, want to solve more example now that you got both multiplication and division 56 times 714 divided by 116. So number logarithm color table 50, 50 is under 10, so you have one, then 56 under zero seven four eight two. 714, 100 is integer 2, then 71 under 4, 8, 5, 3, 7. Addition for the multiplication, numerator. numerator. So you add that, you have 4.6019. Then you are not going to write this value on the same line, because that's the value from the addition above. So the denominator now is 116. So 100, that's, the, the integer is 2. So you check 11 under 6, 0, 6, 4, 5. So division, you do the subtraction. 5 take away 4. That's 5 take away, 9 take away 5, 4. 1 is impossible. You borrow 1, it comes here. 10, then you borrow 1. 11 take away 4, 7. 9 take away 6, 3. 5 take away, you have borrowed 1 already. 5 take away 0, 5, then 2 take away, 4 take away 2. You have to now check for the anti logarithm. 52, 53 under 7 difference 4. It now give us 3, 4, 4, 6, 4 because 10 is power to 100. That's why you have 344.6. Number 6, fourth root of 85.3 times 7.28. Fourth root of 85.3 times 7.28. So 85.3, 81. Then you check for the formula table. 8503 will give us 9309, then 7.28, 7 units, 0, check for 7208, 8621. Addition, that multiplication you add. So after adding, because you have to solve the one inside the root before you now allow the division to take place. So you have this in our addition, we are going to have 10, 3, 9, 17, 2. So divide them. Four, four, zero, six, nine. So, like I did the other time, it's more than four. So, you run up five to this three. So, that's why it's 0 0.6983. So, check from your first table anti logarithm 
69 under age 32 gives us 4992. But the integer 10 raised to the power 1, 10 raised to the power 0, 1. Unit that's why I have 4.992. And this one also 95.3 times cube root of 18.4 divided by 1.5 square times raised to the power 5 times. 2.05. So you take the denominator first and then the numerator before you finally do your subtraction. Look at that. 95.3. 90 units. That's 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 only all tens. That's one. Then you now check that you have three nine seven nine one. Then you have this also 18. That's under 10. Give one. Then you check it's under for two six four eight two. The root will first do the division. If you divide it by three, you have that 0 0.4216. So this two will not be added. That's why it's coming to the fourth column. So I'll do my addition. That's 1.9791 plus 0 0.4216 will give me 2.4007. So I, I come to the denominator now. You know, I'm not writing anything here. Denominator 1.95 is to our five. So 1.9. One unit, then checking for the decimal fraction, the character that's 19 under 5, 2 9 0, 0 times 5 will now give us 1.4500. 0, 0. And I have to check 2.02 0, 0 to do the addition here, which is 2 units 0, 20 under 3, 3075. 0, 0, Doing my addition will give me 1.7575. So I bring it to the third so that I can subtract. The denominator and numerator. So you got that division, that's subtraction. So doing my subtraction, I'm going to have 0. I'm going to have 0. 0.6432. So 7352. Borrow one, 10, borrow comes here. 10, 10, pk73. So now you have a 9, 9 pk54. And you borrow one, that's 13 pk7. You have 620, 1 pk10. Then because the number, your answer must come back to number, not under the that's why they are always pointing it to number because antilogarithm is actually number. So I now check your antilogarithm 64 under 3 difference 2. That's 4397. So units 10 is by 1 unit and that's 4.397. We now want to go to numbers less than one, which are decimal numbers or decimal. Fraction. So, example, for example, use in table to solve the following. Number one, 0 0.7642 times 0 0.3507. Number logarithm column table. Number logarithm is now, then integer now. Because this one is the first number here is under tenths. That's why we have this power minus one, power one. So, checking some six under four difference two. 8832, then 35 under 0, different 7, 5, 4, 5, 4, because that's also 10. So that's keep by 1. So during my addition, we have it as 0, 2 plus this will give us this, 2 plus 0, this, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 4. So let me carry 1, 8 plus 1 plus 5, that's 14. We carry 1. So we have it as one plus let's do let's do let's show the mathematics in that now. I want to show the mathematics because I I draw with that many at times many of the students don't find it easy doing that. So you can actually do that. So that's one minus one, which is equal to zero. Then the other one minus one, which will be equal to minus one. And so that's why we have this one as balance. So you can actually write it and have it in this form. So one, the one you are carrying, one minus one, which will give us zero. Zero minus one will give us minus one. So that's why this one is coming out as bar one. So students should be careful to know that and ensure that uh, they, 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 they do that. Um, 
we do that so that we ensure that, that is done. We ensure that you, you, you do that. We ensure that you, you do that. We ensure that you do that. So do you not check for anti lobbying 42 under 8 difference 2. So that will give us 2, 6, 8, 0. Now, since it's 10 raised to power minus 1, and that's still bar 1, bar 1. So that's going to fall under 10th. So we have it as 0 0.2680. The second one now that we're doing is 0 0.8384 divided by 0 0.9006. So we check, it's still under 10th by 1. We have it checking from your four figure table 83 under four difference four. It was nine two three four. Also, 0 0.9 would be bar one, which has under 10. So you have it 90 under zero difference. If you got 9545. So doing our subtraction, we begin to borrow. So you have one plus one comes in 14, take away five nine. Then you have two here, one ball 12, take away four eight. 11 take away five six and you know this one is eight. So you are borrowing one we should change this one to my bar two though you are not going to change it here but you are not going to change it here but you can write it like the other time i did write you can write it like the other time i did right you can write that like i did the other time so you have bar minus two minus two minus two minus two so then you have 18 take away nine nine then minus two, you have a minus again from the two minus, then down minus one. So minus and minus automatically will change to plus. So minus two plus one. Minus two plus one will now give us a final answer as minus one. Minus two plus one will give a final answer. That's why you have it as power one. Minus two and minus one will give us our answer as minus one. Answer as minus one. Answer as minus one. So it gives us an answer. So that's why it's up by one. So you now have nine, six under eight difference nine. So anti logic will give us nine, three, zero, nine. So the integer by one will still give us zero point nine, three, zero, nine. Nine, three, zero, nine. You pick another one. Now the one that has to do with power. We want to do that now. We want to find the power. 0 0.5425 raised to power 2. So the number logarithm column table 0 0.5.5 that's under 10. So by 1, 54 under 2 different 5, 7, 3, 4, 4, power multiply. So we do our multiplication, that's 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 3, 6. So 2, sorry, 2 times 3, 6, 2 times 7, 14. You have 1, the plus. And two times that will give us, like we said, minus one. So you do that minus one plus two. Yes, um, minus one plus two. So minus one, one minus two. One minus two, that's by one. And that will give us by 1.4668. So check it from your answer logarithm. 46 under eight difference eight give us two, nine, four, three. So integer, 10 is power minus one. That's under. Okay, that's 0 0.2. So we take another example. 0 0.2945 raised to power 4. So we have that. Checking from our public table 2, the integer is by 1. Public table 29 under 4, different 5, 4, 6, 9, 0 times 4. So multiplication 4, 36 to carry 3, 24, plus 3, you are carrying 27, 16 plus 2, you are carrying, you have, you now have uh, 18, so you have four times minus one will give us minus four, minus four, that gives us minus four. And let, let's see that now, like we did last time. Minus four, minus, sorry, um, minus four, plus the one you are carrying, plus minus four, plus one. Now give us the answer as minus, Three bar three. That's why you have it as bar three. That's why you're having this as bar three. Bar three. So minus four plus one give us bar three. Bar three. So that's why you have an answer as bar three. Bar three. So checking from your uh, public table anti logarithm 
87 under 6, no difference to give us. 7, 5, 1, 6. So 10 is power minus 3 is going to be 1,000. And that's why we have it at 0 0.07516. Because 10 is power three, minus 3 is under 1,000. 1,000 after your decimal point, 1,000. Now, what do you have the root? The root now, square root of 0 0.2. Six seven three square root. So that's division by two. What's the integral? That's by one point four two seven. After checking the first table, divided by two. Now because of this, you is not you cannot because these are power. So you have to equate this. And how to adjust this is to for every you know when you are talking about square root, it means the numbers are grouped in two. So this means another number to complete the group. So you borrow that number, and that's why this number is changing to bar two plus. Since you are borrowing, you are going to pay back bar two plus one. All these are index. They are the power of ten. So two divided by two divided by one. Then you can then continue your division in fourteen. Since you have decimal point, so you can have in fourteen seven in two one in seven three in ten five. Instead, because these now are power, you need another one to complete it. That's why this is changing to bar two. In case you are divided by three, it will change to bar three plus two. Since you are going to borrow two, so note that, note that, and then our uh, we can now check from the fourth figure table to be seventy one under three difference five. So we now check that five one seven zero integer ten is power one. That's under ten to zero point five one seven zero. I said to solve another one to bring it home. Fifth root of 0 0.00891. So that's part three. That's under on thousands. Part three, under thousand. And checking 89 on that one will give us 9499 divided by five because of root. So can you see now? So we needed to complete the fifth one. So we have just three already. So we make it by five. And when we have, that means we are going to borrow two. So that is two we are adding to it now. So five divided by, by five is by one in twenty in twenty nine now five remainder four in forty four eight remainder four in forty nine nine remainder four in forty nine nine remainder four then because of decimal point in forty eight mind you this four figure so you have to round up across the base so we are rounding up eight to make this that's why it's changing it to by one point five nine nine so check anti logarithm. 59 under zero, no difference. And that will give us 3890. So we need 10 raised to power, 10 raised power minus one. That's it's good to be under 10. So 0 0.3890. And that one, zero division and multiplication, multiplication division, 0 0.3872 times 0 0.0926. Divided by 0 0.05657. Okay, number logarithm column table by one under tenth. So the other one by two under hundred. So we check that eight under seven difference two five eight seven nine ninety two under one difference six nine six four six multiplication of the denominator. So we add and our addition will give us fifteen. We carry one eleven plus one twelve. Carry one nine plus six, 15. You carry one six plus nine, 15. You carry one the one that will be one minus one. So this one will change to zero. So zero minus two goes part two. Then denominator so is still under 100. But two, so 56 under five, then seven, you got seven, five, two, five. So since it's division, you draw a subtraction five, take away five, zero, two, take away two, zero, five, take away five, zero, then three. Five take away seven possible you borrow so this one will change to automatically change to bar three bar three so bar three minus minus to change this minus minus to plus and let's let's see that let's see that see that and see it bar three bar three let's see that let's see that let's see that this one will change you are borrowing one so to change to minus three minus three minus minus two minus and minus like I told us earlier will change to minus three plus two, and that will give us minus one by one. 
And that's why you're having this as bar one. That's why you're having as bar, bar one. So what you see that is bar one, bar one. Have that as bar one. You can now check from the first block your book. 80 under zero no difference. That will give us six three one seven. That one is also under 10 to zero point six three one seven. That is that is zero point six. And we have another one. The fourth root of zero point zero seven six three divided by three hundred and nine times zero point zero zero eight four six five. So do our number logarithm table column. We solve the one inside the root first. So the first number is 0 0.076. So that's under 100 by 2. So we check by 2, 76 under 3, 8825. Then the denominator now, 300, 100 is 2 positive. 30 under 9 will give us 4970. So we do that addition. We do that addition. No, sorry, we do that addition for this one. We have 0 0.00846. Bar three that's under thousands that's bar three point nine two seven seven that's the decimal fraction of checking from a first got to be eighty four under four different so we are doing addition for these two denominators three hundred and nine and zero point zero eight four six five so when you do addition you have so that's why I'm bringing this to the third to remind us that we are not adding it alongside so we had these two. 7 and 0, 7, 7 plus 0, 7, 9 plus 2, 11, carry 1, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 9, 14, then, then plus 1, that means 3. 3 minus 3 will give us 0. I bring it to the third column so that it will be clear what I want to subtract. So I'm doing the subtraction now. 5 is impossible, borrow 1, 15, take away 7, 8, 1, now 11, take away 7, 4, 7, take away 1, 6, then 8, take away this. So, Minus two minus zero is three by two. Like we did the other time, there are, we need two more to complete it so that we can take one out of the group. That's the meaning of root. So that's why it's going to bar four. Since you have gone to borrow two, so you have two. So you have it bar four divided by bar four by one in 24, six. In six, in six, one, you carry two. In, in 24, six, that's uh, in, in 24, six. And then you begin to continue the addition then. So that in eight, you have this, you have this two. two. Now your answer must automatically come back, must come back to number. So you have a 0 0.4132, 0 0.4132. Now bar one, that's why it's changed to be supposed to be 4132. So well, bar one change to 0 0.4132. Now this is your class will so take this as a take home and solve it. Submit that on my YouTube channel. You might submit that back to my email, email address. It's also mathematics. Make easy. It's like a mathematics made easy my email address. So this can also be man and sub. So the first person says use tables to calculate the following a 867,800 divided by 8.72 times 36.8. We'll say about the error here. B 0 0.0961 times it's if times 4.873 divided by 0 0.8345 C, cube root of 6,250 divided by 41.02 times 0 0.207 times 0 0.064. And the last question, D, 0 0.2885 85 times 11.29 times 0 0.0767. See you again in the next class. I am Alawadiemi. Thank you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can enjoy even more of these classes. When you subscribe to the YouTube channel, anytime I upload on my YouTube you can easily assess assess that so see you in